One of the best comedies I've seen for a long time is a new film called Up in the Air, starring George Clooney and Vera Farmiga and Anna Kendrick. It's directed by Jason Reitman, who also directed Juno. Clooney plays a man called Ryan Bingham, who has a job that not many of us would like, which involves flying from one city to another, firing people on behalf of the companies who employ them because the companies don't want to do it for themselves. He is a professional firer. And he enjoys his work, he enjoys the travel, he enjoys the hotels, he enjoys the first class travel, and his mission in life is to reach 10 million air miles, because only a very few people have ever achieved that goal. It's not a goal that you and I would regard as very desirable or even possible, but for Bingham it is the holy grail of his life. However, things are about to change because two women appear in his life. One of them is a, another traveller who gets around a good deal and with whom he has a casual affair, which is fair enough in itself, but he becomes attracted to her and wants to pursue the relationship further. The other is a younger woman, played by Anna Kendrick, who you may recognise from the two Twilight films, and she plays a hotshot young executive who's joined the company, who's come up with the bright idea of saving them lots of money by it's suggesting that you fire people on the internet, so you hook up on the computer and tell them that you should, you're going to fire them. Uh, George Clooney is horrified with this idea, not just because it means he'll be put out of a job, but also because he has a conscience and he thinks it's not a very moral way to do things, and he himself thinks that what he does is, in its own way, has its own integrity. Anyway, so he goes off on a travelogue with the young woman in order to show her the ropes, and we follow his relationship with her and with the older woman and the various things that happen between the three of them. You may think you know where the film is going, and if you're very clever, you probably will, but I didn't guess the various twists and turns. I thought the film was going one way and then another, and at the end it ended up something completely different to what I expected. I think Clint is fantastic in the role. It's a kind of role he was born to play. He does a really smooth voiceover. And the film is also about something substantial. It's not just a comedy. It's about real relationships, but it's also about the issue of unemployment and the way we treat people. So really recommend you go and see it, and I think you'll enjoy it very much.